Okay, everybody, uh, for those of you that are using uh, Outlook 2010 and Windows 7, you could be using uh, Windows 7 64, 32-bit, kind of doesn't matter, uh, but you're also using a Gmail account, as I am here, you'll notice that it sets it up automatically as an IMAP email account, which sometimes can slow Outlook down to a crawl and sometimes it'll make it just completely hang and part of the reason is is that uh, each one of these folders is a subscribed to folder through your IMAP server Gmail being the IMAP server the folders that you have here are folders that you subscribe to automatically and you don't know that probably but that's what you do unfortunately every time something gets dropped into one of those folders it uh, either on the other side or on this side it has to transfer that information back and forth between the server and the folder that you're looking at here in Outlook so I think I've got a couple of solutions that I can use to help you kinda save some time and speed things up a little bit in Outlook to uh, make things kinda come back for you so first of all I should point out you can't uh, simply right click here and say account properties because the settings we're going to change are not here so what we're going to do is we're going to hit control alt and s like sam to bring up this send and receive groups window all this is is a couple of, of group holders or, or folders or bins or whatever you want to call them uh, that you can place these accounts into and then set settings for each of the accounts or all of the accounts in each one of those groups so uh, in this case I have a bunch of test accounts and, and uh, all of them are all grouped in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on edit and you'll see I got a bunch of junk accounts here but the one that I'm curious about or want to work with is this uh, Gmail account here now typically what you would see is something like this uh, it, it would look pretty much just kind of uh, generic you wouldn't see much much uh, information uh, set up down here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to speed things up by changing the way that it works with the subscribed folders. First of all, if you click this radio checkbox that says use the custom behavior defined below, and then you open up all of your folders that uh, you're subscribed to in Gmail without your knowledge, but you are, you'll see that I have some that are checked and some that are not. But the ones that are important are the ones that, are you're, go that you're going to see most often and of course you're gonna see trash you're gonna see spam that's inevitable and the email you send but also the inbox itself so you might have drafts as well but that's probably gonna be uh, far for less of an issue so if you notice on the right side here when I click on one of these you'll see that for example inbox I've got it set to download complete item including attachments because I want all that information to be available to me right away instantaneously uh, and unless you're getting large attachments all the time that's really not going to be a huge issue but if I click down here on the sent mail one you'll see it's downloading the headers only I don't want to see all the information or download all the information in spam only if I want it so if I don't want it I don't need to bother with it so I'll leave it as headers only so the only thing it's going to show me is the from and the to and when and all that stuff but it's not going to show me the detail of the the email if I click on it it will load the detail over here in the the preview pane just like anything else but it's not going to do it automatically then uh, if you click on spam same thing download the headers only and trash download download the headers only there's really no reason to be looking at or storing the full data uh, in those unless you really need them so again click this box that says use custom behavior defined below select each of these individually Ch make the change click again make the change click again make the change and then click again make the change and then go ahead and click on OK and that will store those changes now a quick note about this screen something else that might help you you'll notice right here I actually have this set uh, so that when Outlook is offline it checks every three minutes for mail now what does that mean when you're offline really all that means is that that uh, Outlook is not continuously monitoring and talking to the IMAP server or any other uh, exchange server for example it comes online checks its mail goes offline that's all it does when you're online you're automatically connected all the time so any changes that occur on either side can be seen immediately and so on 
Do you have to work online? No, you don't. You can work offline and it's not going to kill you. As a matter of fact, sometimes it'll even save you some time and some, some uh, bandwidth. Do I recommend it for everybody? No. And uh, only use it uh, if you really have an issue. Otherwise, stay online and you're good to go. But I point that out because it does help in some cases. So again, uh, you'll go in uh, to wherever your this this particular uh, Gmail account is set up here. You'll edit it. You'll change all the settings for uh, these uh, options at on this email. I'm going to pull it up again on uh, the, the folders rather. You'll set this to download headers or to uh, download complete items depending on what you want. Click on OK. Click on close, and boom, away you go. Now you'll notice here in my inbox. I have a message that's already downloaded. I just happened to take a look at, at Camtasia, which I've used for this particular video, uh, because I decided to take a look at it. And you'll notice that it downloaded everything in here. And of course, I don't have it set to, to be a uh, preferred sender, so it's not going to let them uh, download the, the uh, pictures without me clicking on it. But if I have something else in some of these other messages. Uh, let me see if there's any spam or any trash. No, I don't have anything in here yet. So, uh, for example, in all mail, uh, this uh, congratulations on your first YouTube upload video that uh, I made the other day for this particular channel. Uh, in all mail, since I clicked on it, it went ahead and grabbed the information and, and displayed it here. However, if I had 100 emails here and they were all just headers, none of the data would be showing over here until I clicked on the item. So that's why it kind of saves you time and effort. At any rate, I hope that helps everybody. I hope uh, this makes a difference for you. If you have any questions, as usual, please feel free to post it on the channel. Take care, everyone. Talk to you later.